This is already happening, folks, and we allowed it to be, and now we have to, <laughs> we made our bed, now we gotta lay in it. Autonomous machines prove their worth in hospitals, offices, and on city streets, and now they are continuously going to be put to use to take over people's jobs and reduce their ability to produce income. Uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, K-E-V-I-N in all caps. And uh, please give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, I want to share with you guys a story here. It says that the story of how one startup is combining the power of robotics, AI, and IoT to solve a trillion dollar problem. And yes, robots, AI, technology, open AI, chat GPT, Microsoft's making billion dollar investments, multi-billion dollar investments, other companies as well for one very simple purpose eliminate employees and if you've seen any of the remodels going on at walmart here recently then you've seen the beginning of this change i'm gonna talk about that a little bit more later but i want to go through a few comments here uh, of some people who have been watching i appreciate you guys i appreciate your support and uh who are who are seeing what's going on here this is a video I put up yesterday, and it says, I'm here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Stores are closing down. Lowe's, Big Lot, Macy's, JCPenney, Ross, Rouse's, Victoria's Secret, Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, stores are closing. We are in a bit of a pivotal moment for business and economy and retail, but I do think that this has a lot to do with reducing their physical brick and mortar footprint, reducing their likelihood and possibility of physical theft and increasing their footprint digitally. There's a term I wanna share with you guys, it's called digital real estate um, and it's a thing. So I believe that these companies are working on increasing their market share of digital real estate. This one here says that I used to work for AP Walmart they told us a few years ago to stop <laughs> to stop apprehending shoplifters. They even had me stock the shelves as a normal employee and work on internals uh, only. I see this coming uh, I've seen this coming a long time ago. How many people can say that they saw this coming a long time ago? And uh you know, if you can see it, nothing, you know, I'm not saying anything against you, but if you can see it then they can see it. And you know, if they see it then they're obviously going to put a plan in place to make sure that uh, their future is better than their past. They're not going to continuously allow this theft problem to happen. And by solving this quote unquote theft problem, which may or may not be a real problem, according to National Retail Federation, it's a ninety four and a half billion dollar problem. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a decoy to make the changes uh, so that people aren't as upset with the changes that occur. Yes, Kevin, I would like for you to do a video breaking down the difference in AI that will certainly become more prevalent to us all. That could be a very long video, but I, I will work on putting that together. But AI is already around us. Alexa, uh, Siri, um, Google Assistant. Uh, AI is already already around us. Um, it's just uh, it's rapidly evolving. And now it's getting to the point where it is it is very clear that AI can learn and AI can can teach and AI can grow and AI can 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 almost truly really become more than what it was before. Now this is on a slightly different different topic but still very important because it's on a video that I posted up not too long ago because it's not just the companies it's not just the theft that's going on or could possibly be coming to your doorstep uh but it's also the banking industry the changes in the financial and monetary system uh as well as the security of your assets in the bank specifically this one was wells fargo but on my video but this comment says that chase just closed my account last night and i had 750 dollars and my work check being deposited into the account uh, so now I'm broke, but they told me that they were going to close the account Friday, February 10th to 14th 
and then wait 10 business days for a check from the money in my account. So let's see how true that is. That is extremely unfortunate. Uh, I don't know the ex exact circumstances behind this particular situation, but I will say uh, we're going to get into uh, my thoughts on that in just a moment because I got another comment here from a uh, from a longtime subscriber that I want to share with you that ties into that directly. And it says that diversity, security, and cash flow. Got it. Thank you. Good night. No, thank you. I appreciate that because uh, this comment came through on a video I posted yesterday that obviously I can tell that Faith Moore watched the video and understood exactly what I was telling everybody, what I was sharing with everyone. And in a situation like Wells or Chase Bank closing your account, wiping you out, uh, putting you in a situation where you say you're broke and you got to wait 10 business days to get a check, that ties in directly to diversity diversity security and cash flow because uh if you had the diversity then you'd have more than one bank you'd have more than one source of funds maybe at home maybe in a safe maybe somewhere else i don't know but having the diversity will help prevent you from being vulnerable in a situation like this having the security uh and the cash flow is most important because the cash flow is that next check so uh i want to have the ability to have cash flow so that okay my account's locked out i can't get my money for 10 to 14 days but i got cash flow coming in pretty regularly so that can actually bridge that gap if you guys want to know more about that please just let me know this one here says the main reason why most people uh stores etc are suffering is because they are selling things that are useless it has no value, purpose, or great quality. It's time for people to get on their purpose in life, and that will open up many doors. Now, I like this comment. I really do because, <clears throat> as I told you guys in a previous video or several videos before, I hope that I provide you guys with value, wisdom, education, maybe entertainment, but also motivation. And I want you guys to be motivated to find your purpose and uh, open as many doors as possible. And with that being said, that is one of my primary, if not my number one rule when creating content on YouTube. And I'm actually putting together a list of everything that should be done when creating YouTube channels and YouTube content that I have seen work to grow channels, get views, get subscribers, ultimately make money. Okay. Um, it's fun making YouTube videos. It's fun editing YouTube videos. I love it. But I also know that I need to make money. So uh, when I'm able to do both, or let's just say when I'm able to do something I love, then I never have to work another day in my life. And I want you guys to be able to have that opportunity and that ability, even if it's not with YouTube, whatever it may be, I want you guys to be motivated to to achieve that, to, to figure out what that is and then reach for it and achieve it. That's 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 most important. Now, this one says, uh, let me let us know the name of the company that you speak about company to make money. Thank you. So uh, this is a little bit off from the YouTube. Um, <clears throat> it says, yeah, I was about to say perhaps it's a good idea to begin making money online. This was another uh, viewer that watched the video that I posted yesterday and understood what I was talking about. And so the company. I'm not going to say the name of the company, but if you're interested in the opportunity, you do have to be a licensed real estate agent. And I'm not a licensed real estate agent, but I actually considered be becoming licensed last year for particular two particular reasons. And obviously the housing market is not, in my opinion, the best place to be right now. Uh, for buyers and sellers and potentially agents. However, real estate is still going to sell. But in my opinion, I don't want to be a new green real estate agent trying to make my way in this particular housing market, which I'm putting in a blanket statement because every market and every hyper local market is going to be different. But it's just not something I really want to do right now. But I did want to get my license for a variety of reasons, one of which was to show you guys how it could be done. 
and potentially find easier ways of doing it in case anybody was interested in adding that uh, feather to their cap. So uh, again, it comes down to diversity. I wanna have diverse ways of being able to produce that cash flow, if that makes sense. So additionally, I like YouTube. I like creating content and I was going to be able to use my real estate license as a way to have access to properties and experiences and uh, a variety of new ways of creating content for a completely different channel, for a real estate, travel, home, lifestyle-based channel. Also business, because being a real estate agent is a small business in itself. You are essentially uh, your own boss, basically, despite where you hang your, where you hang your license. Um, so there was a variety of reasons why I wanted to get the license. Uh, I see some things going on here locally in my real estate market that I think could be done differently, ultimately be done better. So that was part of why I wanted to do it was to prove that concept um, and then be able to offer that solution to other agents for profit. But it would profit me and it would profit them because it would make them it would make them more successful. They would gain more business. They would get more sales, more commission, and it would be it would be beneficial to all. Um, but this opportunity was presented to me just, a, just a few days ago that I didn't even consider, but in order to execute on it and have access to the passive income opportunity, I would have to be a licensed real estate agent. So, um, not sure if I'm going to do it, but I can share the information with you guys if you're interested, but I don't want to waste your time with it. If you have, if you're not licensed and you have no, uh, no intention of becoming licensed and there is a cost associated with it so you know if you, you it takes money to make money in certain instances and this is one of them and if you don't have a few thousand dollars and several hours to dedicate to this then you're already behind the eight ball um somebody actually asked me are there ways that people can make money utilizing some of the opportunities that i'm sharing without having any money and absolutely there are ways to make money without money but those ways of making money without money are going to require your time, plain and simple, one or the other. But I prefer to put my time to use in a way that it's going to bring back more money than it would as just an hourly employee. I want I want exponential returns. I want exponential growth and I want passive income. I want my, my, my work to be uh, compounded to bring back more money. Than just trading my time directly for dollars and um i got another one here that says i hate to break it to everyone but those cameras are not for surveillance they are rolling out the amazon style checkout system so that they can shed 90 percent of their workforce and cut the overhead associated with those employees benefits insurance workers comp etc have automated checkout cameras catching everything at the door like they want now and for them, it's a win-win. And I look for every major retail company to follow suit, unfortunately. And I believe that this is a very accurate comment, very accurate assessment, very accurate uh, prediction. And I think I think you all should really pay attention to that. Thank you, average guys, gadget guy, for leaving that comment. Because watch Squirrel Tribe's video, and she walked through a local Walmart that just completed a recent renovation, and you might want to check out what she had to say about that, because it touches directly on this. Uh, meanwhile, Amazon has already started doing this with their Whole Foods stores and other Amazon stores. This is coming, and this was similar to what I had pr predicted last year, which was Walmart potentially moving to an, an a membership-only pre-authorized pre-approved customer base by way of walmart spark so the only way you could enter into their store which is now going to be a hub for picking orders would be to be pre-approved but if we take it one step further we're going to see that they're going to leverage amazon's technology which these companies are sharing this technology they're going to leverage this technology and they're going to make it so that you're pre-approved. They know who you are when you walk in the door and you don't have to check out because they're going to check you out before you leave. So it's going to become an extremely streamlined automated process um, where a theft can't occur. You see, they're going to eliminate the, the possible ways that theft could occur, but are also going to limit the people who can shop. 
But if you aren't pre-approved and able to enter, then you can utilize the services like Walmart Spark for those uh, uh, those gig workers, those contractors, or those employees that are going to be pre-approved. Just my thoughts, my opinions of how things could possibly shape out and shake out in the future. But uh, based on the changes that are occurring and also some insider intel that has been leaked to my wife, Squirrel Tribe, about Walmart and why they're doing what they're doing, it, 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 it's clear, it's obvious what they're doing. Um, it says, yes, I'm interested in investing for beginners. Sorry, guys, I'm just going through some of these comments that I get. I don't really reply to the comments, but I, I read them and I think it's better suited to bring these answers and these replies like this. I think it will reach more people. I want to help more people. Uh, and it says, yes, I'm interested in investing for for new beginners. Well, cool. Great. Click the link in the description. Go sign up for Moomoo. Get some free stocks. And uh, I'll go ahead and put a video together to show you guys step by step investing for beginners. I can do that. No problem whatsoever. Walmart copies. Uh, actually, I take that back. I'm all. I have to. I'm putting together a video for Mumu because uh, that is full transparency for anybody out there interested. That is one of the uh, affiliates and paid promotions and sponsors that I have on this channel. So uh, they've actually contacted me. I received an email last night. Let's see here. Let's see if I can still pull it up. Well, I got a lot of I got a lot of emails over <laughs> over over the, the, the night, but uh, one of them was from Moomoo and it was discussing uh, putting together a video of a walkthrough basically to show you guys how to to get started. So that is coming up. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't want to jump around, but this one this one's out of order, but it says Walmart copies what works for other companies. That's what I was just telling you. Not only do they copy it, but they actually communicate and they share each other's tech. Much of this, uh, the people cause because Amazon did well paying for membership. So Walmart and Kroger copied because if the people will pay, why not take it? Sad, but true. Now the stores act like they're doing us a favor instead of the other way around. Too many people don't know they have created their own problems and still go in to pay for memberships instead of writing a day or two to get their or waiting a day or two to get their items. It's ridiculous that we all have to suffer because the multitude of people can't comprehend how it works. Well, here's the deal. Um, membership or not, these companies are all working together. They all have similar problems and they're all trying to reach similar solutions and they know that they have strength in numbers. So if they can get everyone to have memberships if they can get everyone to stop walking into the stores and start ordering online they will and then there won't be another option there won't be an alternative there won't be a viable alternative and if there were it would probably be more expensive and uh than their option than amazon target walmart their option so they're going to force this down everybody's throat so i hope you're ready for it um, bro, everyone hitting up Africa. Shout out to the Gambia. That's pretty cool. Shout out Gambia. Shout out Zambia, by the way. Bupe. Um, we have been in communication. I haven't shared Bupe on the channel recently, but we're working on something pretty cool behind the scenes. And long story short, it looks like I'm going to be investing in farmland in Africa uh, because Bupe uh, has a, a strong need for sustainable food source. But I also think that this can be very helpful to so many other people uh, in her village. Um, also for us here, too, to show the process and how it can be done uh, in, in a in a in a homestead farming prep situation with Bupe telling me she has an extreme passion for farming. So uh, this is going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, if anybody wants to get involved, it's if it's not it's a very minimum uh, in uh, uh, in capital investment in comparison to what costs are here in the United States compared to Zambia and Africa. Um, I'm not going to call it an investment. I'm just I'm just you know providing because that's just something I want to do. So end of story uh the information you provide is needed to be ready for the impact of the financial markets 
this one, you know, I just, I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys understanding and realizing what I'm sharing, why I'm sharing it and what it really means. As we see, you know, as we see things like this, this is not fake. This is real. Okay. And what this shows me is that people, especially here in this country and perhaps other countries around the world, because I received a comment that says they're, you know, they're watching from Wales and they're a few months behind, but they see the same trends going on. This is coming. This is happening. This is already here in some instances. And if you're not paying attention, if you're not planning, if you're not preparing, then you're ultimately putting yourself in this extremely vulnerable situation in this position. And I don't know what your biggest hurdle, what your biggest obstacle, what your biggest challenge is going to be, but you're literally setting yourself up by ignoring these warning signs and not paying attention and not connecting and not planning and preparing and building and growing your diversity, your security and your cash flow to be susceptible to one, if not all of the challenges that are literally being built to economically crush and wipe out so many people out there. It's going to come down to that. Now, obviously we got the health concerns, but probably just equally as concerning is going to be the financial and the economic component. And if you're not ready, then all I can say is God help you. And uh, I would not necessarily expect or put much faith in our government being there to support you and back you up. And if they did, it's going to come at an extremely high cost. Um, we've already seen it before. We're working through building back better now from the pandemic. And I don't think that anybody would would ask to be put in this situation again. I think that they would much rather go at it a completely different way, more so on their own. Um, but the only way that you would ever, ever have a chance of surviving that would be if you were prepared to survive that. Um, and, you know, with that being said, I do want to point you guys over to GI Justin's channel. Um, for a variety of reasons. One is the preparedness and preparation from a U.S. Army veteran who has a ton of skill and a ton of knowledge and wisdom and experience and education and knowledge that I'm trying to get him to get out as fast as possible. But, you know, he's he's got a full time job. He's you know, he's a husband. He's 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 a he's a dad times three uh, girl dad times three. Uh, he's doing a lot, but he's also uh, creating content, which is, in my opinion, uh, an amazing opportunity for anybody out there. If anybody out there is interested and needs help, feel free to contact me. Uh, I actually have a channel. It's called Kevin YouTube Coach. If you want to check it out and throwing up videos there too. I have a Patreon if you want to connect to me directly. Kevin uh, or Patreon.com forward slash Kevin 24 7. And uh, I want you guys to check out GI Justin. I'm going to put a link because he just posted a video which in my opinion is going to be probably one of his better videos uh but we're working on optimizing his channel and his uploads and his content but he's showing you the basics the simple the simple survival techniques of literally just something as sharpening a sharpening a knife which is a big deal if you don't know it's a big deal but it's not hard to do you, let alone it's a very soothing uh, ex, uh video to watch and just seeing it's really relaxing to see the knife being sharpened and to hear the sounds uh, of the, the, the knife's blade, the metal blade up against the coarse stone that he's using to sharpen. It's so simple, very easy. Not only that, but he also has product placement in the video for his own store that he owns, Magnolia Soap here in Destin, Destin Commons. He's on Etsy. Check him out. Link in the description. Use Squirrel Tribe's code for a free gift. And he's using all these tools, which is what I share with you guys as ways of diversifying his income and creating this added security while producing additional cash flows the, from generating more sales for the business, generating revenue from the content that he's creating on YouTube through ads and Google AdSense, uh, executing on Amazon affiliate links in the descriptions, uh, which he's actually made his first, he had his first commission sale yesterday i believe because of one of the videos and one of the products he mentioned and building up to be able to uh achieve 
paid promotions and sponsorship opportunities from all these brands that are looking to connect um, while also building local relationships to, to add to his repertoire. And uh, it's literally it's just I mean, it's it's happening so quickly, but it really only happens because you actually you put the work in to get it done. But it can happen. And and, and, and I can help you guys do it if you're interested. It's really it's not that hard. Um, additionally, somebody had asked and I want to leave you guys with this. Somebody had asked if I could share more information on the affiliate programs and the affiliate programs. One of them is Click Junction and the other one is Impact. And there's a third one that I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to find it. But let's just say one of the other ones would be Amazon Affiliate. So these are super simple, super easy to get set up. Uh, I would do Amazon Affiliates first. I think that's the easiest one. And then I would do Click Junction second and probably do Impact third. Because Click Junction and Impact are going to require some form of um, resume uh, to be accepted. And that's why you need to be creating content. That's why you need to be building a brand. But once you do, you're in and you have access. And these links pay very well for the people promoting them, sharing them, and getting people to click and convert. Um, I, I, want, I can't remember the other one off the top of my head. I'll have to find it and, uh, and share it with you guys on another video. But this could work in a variety of ways. Uh, it could work online. It could work with social media. It could work with Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, while it's still around until it gets banned in the United States, uh, YouTube. And, you know, it could also work in person, sharing links directly, email signatures. Like the sky is the limit if you set it up. And, you know, we were out to dinner last night and it was a uh, squirrel tribe, my wife uh, and Justin and his wife and, and, and my daughter. And we were, and our daughter, we were sitting there and um, Squirrel Tribe showed me some emails coming through of some of the passive income deposits and payments that were being made into the account. And it's just, you know, we're, I mean, it's just, we're not working. We're just sitting there enjoying an evening at a really nice uh, bar. I think it was called Bayou Brews or something, Bayou something, really cool bar. And um, now I'm, I'm, I'm curious, I got to figure out the name of this bar. It was called uh, Bayou Brewing. Really nice place. Uh, really great beer. Uh, they had a hot dog stand out there. We got an opportunity to meet the vendor for the hot dog stand. And he was telling us about his success and how he's he decided to step out, be his own boss, make his own money, take control of his future. And he's doing it with his hot dog stand. And he's actually really successful with it. And uh, But, you know, as we're just sitting there hanging out, enjoying the evening in each other's company and time and conversation, everything that I discuss with you guys that I talk about that I've worked on to build to get to this point that I don't mind sharing with anybody interested literally is just proving the concept by, by these deposits being made um, from the work that's being done. So if anybody out there wants to work towards getting to that point, uh, I, I will be the first one to say that it works. It can work. Uh, I can show you a variety of different instances and people that it works for, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's getting money for nothing and, you know, you just sign up and you'll automatically become rich and, uh, you know, just wake up, you know, with a, a huge amount of money. You have to do what you got to do to make it happen and you have to put the effort in. But once you put that effort, once you make those actions, once you you do try to get this going it can eventually ultimately produce these passive income streams where it's like wow when you look back it didn't take very long to make that happen it wasn't as bad as i thought and now i'm just getting payments ranging from this is just these are real numbers uh notifications coming through of you just got a deposit in your account for 75 dollars okay cool 75 bucks i'll take it you just got a deposit in your account for 720 dollars cool you just got a deposit in your account for twelve hundred dollars you just got a deposit in your account for four thousand dollars you just got a deposit in your account for nineteen thousand dollars and look they all add up they all add up so um i'm not going to turn my nose up at any of them and i'm going to continuously work to improve and build and grow uh and, and it's almost it's like those are definitely motivation for me because it's like all the work that i've put in is paying off that i knew would but i had to put the work in is paying off 
Uh, and uh, and then even beyond that, when I get the success stories from people that I work with, clients, friends, colleagues, um, other creators in the space or whatever, that's just icing on the cake. But if you guys want to know more, you know how to reach me. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys take care. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one.